Hi Leo, welcome to your messages from your spirit guides for the month of December. This is Miriam, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So let's see what spirit wants you to know at this time. This is data for December, but I do consider all my readings timeless. So um, I'm going to say this is for whenever you see this till whenever. And if you'd like to go back and watch any of the readings on my channel, you can check it out. I um, do, like I said, consider them all timeless. And the playlists are below for all Leo readings if you're interested in checking that out. So let's see what Spirit wants you to know. I hope everybody's doing well. Happy December. All right, so let's see what's going on for Leo. I'm going to pull three from this deck, three from each oracle, and then we'll clarify with one tarot after we go over the messages. So if you'd like to fast forward or skip up, you know, it shouldn't take too long to pull three from each deck. So you can check the description box below, tons of stuff down there, decks I'm using, how to reach out for personal reading, a playlist, tons and tons of stuff down there. So please feel free to check that out. All right, so let's get, what does Spirit want Leo to know at this time? What does Spirit want Leo to know at this time? Spirit, please, thank you so much. For Leo, what are their messages from Spirit? Spirit guide messages. What do they need to know at this time? What do they, whoops, that's way too many. <laughs> this want three for Leo, one, two, three. So I guess those are your messages. So we have the earth magic, Oracle, the Work Your Light Oracle, and these are the Spirit Messages Oracle, and then we're going to clarify with the Sun and Moon Tarot. So again, they're all listed below if you'd like to check those out. All right, let's see. Let's get three of these for Leo. Spirit Messages for Leo. What do you need to know at this time? Take what resonates, I guess, for you. Um, not every message will be for every person, so take what resonates only all right so let's see what we have here from the earth magic for leo spring equinox a rebirth so something may be growing evolving um in the springtime is all about growth expansion um prosperity so abundance uh re reevaluating yourself, regenerating yourself, transforming yourself could all something could be happening here for you in the springtime. Something, a rebirth of something. When we get into the tower, we'll clarify that. Waterfall, effortless. So something's just gonna flow naturally and easy for you coming up here. This could be about feelings, emotions, or just something, something you've been putting a lot of effort and time into may now all of a sudden just evolve and flow very easily easily and effortlessly for you now and it could all uh, happen uh coming up into the springtime maybe something's gonna like take a turn for the better and like regenerate itself and everything's just gonna flow and grow and nurture and be abundant with you for you uh coming in the springtime because when you think of waterfalls you think of like that springtime energy summer energy so some nice energy so now we have meadow vulnerabilities so Maybe a time here where you felt like open and vulnerable to something here. Uh, but here's the growth and expansion again with the flowers, you know, all the greenery. And again, I think of springtime. Um, it's all spring to summer energy for me. So I feel like for some of you, something coming up, especially spring going into summer, things are just going to get better. Things are going to flow easy. There's going to be a lot of growth, expansion. Things are going to transform, um, rejuvenate. Things are just going to be really growing, uh, I feel, for you, spring into summer. Wow. And it's about being vulnerable and um, opening yourself up to things and just letting, uh, trying new things, doing new things, just letting, taking that chance and being vulnerable in a situation. Could be anything. So let's see. We have the initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. So... Could be crossing the threshold here and anything could be going into a new relationship. You could be starting a new job. Um, you could be moving. Um, something here where you're crossing over into unknown territory. So you could be moving to an area like maybe going from like the city to the country. You've never lived in the country. 
uh, starting a new career, something you've never done before, um, a new relationship. It's different than any other relationship you've had before. So something new there. And I feel with the rite of passage is something that you deserve, something that you've been waiting for, something you thought you would never get. Because you see there's light at the end there. So whatever darkness you've been through, it's like you've been through all your like lessons and you've learned all what you needed to. And now you have the rite of passage to move on into the light. Wow. Inner temple, devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. Exactly. So this is like coming out of the darkness and going right into the light, your inner temple. You know, you're being vulnerable, opening your heart. And knowing that you've already been through all the darkness. Now only thing to come here is the light. And you think of spring going into summer, how light, how it stays very light, very late. It's very, you know, sunny, very sunny, very energetic. It's like, <laughs> I feel like this goes over here. Now everything is just getting better and better. Wow. Leap, you go first, the universe will catch you. So whatever you're doing here, it's telling you to go for it. Take that leap of faith. Just trust everything is fine. The universe has your back. They're, they're guiding you. They're leading you, telling you you've been through all your calming lessons. You've been through all the darkness. You've been through, you know, maybe dark night of the soul. You've been through it all. And now you have nothing but light and growth, expansion, and everything just coming to you effortlessly moving forward. Wow. Could be Like I said, could be anything. Could be a new career. It could be moving. It could be a new relationship. It could be anything. Change in your whole life. Changing, just changing something or changing your whole life altogether in a whole new direction. Wow. Okay. So let's see what we have here. Believe the force that works through your soul, determining what's possible or impossible. The difference between success over failure and above all who you are is the power of your belief. So it's telling you to believe the light here. Again, believe that all this is coming into you and be open and be vulnerable to receiving that to accept this coming into you, you may say, oh, this can't be happening. This isn't going to happen. This, you know, things don't come easy for me. I feel like, yes, coming up, starting with the spring equinox and moving on that, you know, it's dark over the winter. We're going into the winter. You know, it's dark here, but starting in the springtime for some of you, it's going to be like a whole new world and be open and vulnerable to receive that, that believe that you are worth it. You, you do, um, you, uh, I'm trying to think how I want to say this. You, you are worthy of it. You can accept it. You can be vulnerable and open to it and that it can happen. You may think, oh, you know, nothing good ever happens to me. I have all this darkness all the time. This can't be real. It's not really happening. It's all just an illusion. And spirit's like, oh no, no, we have your back yet. Look at all this light energy. And this is the only dot card. <laughs> and now we have seek. The power of spirit exists in all things. Everything is made of energy and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit, including you. We are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another. So someone may, some of you may need to open up yourself to like this woman's half veil, like to the spiritual side of yourself. You know, she's only seeing like half. So you know, maybe it's being open and vulnerable to spirit, to divine energy, to, you know, your self-value, your worth, and believing that all this good can come to you after all the darkness you've been through. And we have a lot of purplish here, and that's all about manifesting, so don't be afraid also to manifest this going forward. And we have love. Love is the foundation of your existence, and you're just a as worthy of receiving, and I just said that. I had just said that. <laughs> as you are of giving love and compassion while love can be a beautiful emotion it's equally a form of energy that propels you through life so don't be afraid to be open to receive the love of from the universe that it wants to give you of all these things that have come effortlessly for you now right in the center here is your only dot card so you've been you've been through it you learn your lessons you've been through all those karmic cycles now and the universe knows that you're ready to move forward and everything's just going to come to you effortlessly and things just going in a better direction. So be open to love, be open to anything here. Wow. Whatever you're seeking, 
Be open to it. Don't hold back. Be vulnerable. Take that leap. Wow. Okay. Let's get some tarot. A lot of strong messages here for you, Leo. So I do ask Leo, if you're new, uh, check out my channel. You like what you see. Please do subscribe. You get four different readings a month. They are all different. So if you like what you see, you know, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. You won't miss out. And um, thank you. And those uh, who support the channel, thank you so much for all your support. Truly, truly does mean a lot to me. And like I said, you can check out the description box below. Tons of stuff down there. So let's get some clarifiers here for all these cards. Leo. Leo. Wow. I see growth, expansion, things just opening up and like pouring out into your lap. And I, I don't think you're going to believe it, but it says be open to receive this. Believe it and be vulnerable. That it's time to come out of the darkness. All right. Leo. Leo, Leo. Let's get three more. Clarify. Whoop. Here for you, Leo. Let's see. One more. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. I just love bottom of the deck energy. So, yeah, stress, fear, anxiety. I think you're just not going to believe. You're going to overthink this. You're going to believe, like, this can't be happening. No, nothing good ever happens to me. And just, like, I, I just don't believe it. Just don't believe it. <laughs> but spirit's like oh no you know don't get caught up in that mental entrapment there and being like stressed out about it being worried like oh you know yeah this is happening but it's all gonna end tomorrow it's don't get caught up in that energy so let's see what's going on here with rebirth spring aquanix so we have the princess of pentacles so this um this is like an offer coming in it's good news it's success it's abundant something stable so I feel like some sort of offer could be coming to you in the springtime where things are just going to open up to you. And it could be, you know, an offer from a, from a lover. It could be a job, a new job offer. It could be anything here. It could be unexpected money comes in and it allows you to like have a whole new life. Something unexpected here. It's a solid, stable offer or unexpected money or something like that is going to enable you to like reevaluate and rebirth and rejuvenate your whole life it could be coming in here in the springtime wow okay so effortless here with the waterfall six of pentacles so being very balanced so things success so yeah things are just going to come in a lot of pentacle energy here which is about growth abundance security stability uh, monetary material things and the Six of Pentacles is all about balance, equality. So things are going to come effortlessly. You're going to be feeling well balanced. And you just may feel like, you know, this is just unreal. I just can't believe this. But just let it flow. Whatever this is, it's very balanced energy, successful energy. Just let it come in and just let it flow naturally. Wow. It's like you're not even going to have to make any effort. and Everything's just going to balance out. You know, your finances, your career, your home, everything. It's just going to balance out. And it's all some kind of offer there. So whatever that means for you. It's maybe something you've been waiting. So more pentacle energy here. Wow. So king of pentacles. So being open and vulnerable to this energy coming in to growth, expansion, trying something new, uh, venturing out here will give you this king of pentacle energy. King or queen, doesn't matter is being in your energy, being sta totally stable and grounded, not having to worry, making your money, making your coin, being uh, just having that growth and abundance that you don't really have to worry. You just sit on your horse there and just graze in the meadow, <laughs> graze in the meadow and uh, not have to worry. Wow. Wow. Okay. So let's see what we have here with the initiation, rite of passage, cross crossing the threshold exactly look how similar this looks i cannot make this up so this is you you've walked through the shadows you've walked through all those karmic lessons you've walked through all this dark energy you've been through it and now you're walking away you've walked through it you've been through it and now you're just heading off to something better heading towards this light here the eight of cups walking away from things no longer fulfilling for you and walking to something even better and walking right through into the light here the eight of cups energy wow i can't 
can't make that up. All right, Leo. Let's see what we have here in our temple. Four of Pentacles. So this is knowing your inner value, your worth, your stability, holding on to who you are, your structure, your balance, your uh, abundance, your prosperity, you know, not spending foolishly, uh, being very practical, um, really holding on to your stability and being devoted to that and tuning into your self-value and worth and holding on and being very, very uh, stable and grounded here. The Four of Pentacles is all about the foundation, the basis, the you know, stable energy, knowing your inner value, temple, and worth, and really holding on to that here. Wow. Power. Knowing your inner power, your inner temple, knowing that energy and holding on to that. All right. So let's see what we have here. Leap. Prince of Cups. So this is, you know, taking action, being in a very loving, compassionate, um, kind of energy. So whatever you're doing here, it could be something that you're like totally in love with. It could be something that you've been wanting to try, wanting to do, that you would just love to do this, whatever it is for you. And the universe is like, go for it. Take that leap. They will catch you. They have your back. Whatever you're loving here, so take that action forward in a loving, compassionate energy. It could be someone coming in with a love offer and you're leaping in and uh, catching that love offer and leaping into a new relationship for some of you. Hmm, okay. And it could be divinely guided here because the universe will catch you. So it could be a very divinely guided connection here for some. So we have here believe. So you can believe, you can manifest a brand new beginning. Whatever you're trying to manifest here, whatever new beginning that you're wanting, Whatever it is for you, you have to believe it in order to achieve it. So universe is telling you to believe in the impossible. Believe that you can do it. Believe you can manifest. Believe you can go into this new beginning that you want for yourself. You have all the tools and resources to do that, to move forward, and that you can do it. It's not impossible. Wow. All right. What else do we have? Seek the lovers. So some of you... You know, and the lovers is about uh, making choices, decisions, or it can be choosing to be with a lover here. So if you're seeking a lover, this could be a lover coming in for some of you, some someone who's very stable here, and maybe you walked away from love situations of the past that weren't serving you, and now you're stable on your own. But now I feel like you could have somebody uh, very stable coming into you that may offer you love, and maybe you, you know, now you're like seeking this love and here it is, a soulmate energy. So it could be a separate message or this is telling you that whatever, again, like the Prince of Cups energy, whatever you, you really love to do, whatever choices you made that you really want to move forward in to seek that out to manifest this in your beginning is that you can do that. And it's totally meant for you, some, something you're totally aligned with that is just something that you just love and having that self-love and value that you could seek that out and manifest that. So different messages there. So again, like I said, take what resonates, throw away what doesn't. So we have love. So this could be all about love or for some of you, it's not. So again, Prince of Pentacle, a lot of earth energy here. So very safe, stable, secure, grounded energy here. And a lo very loving, compassionate energy also. So love here, Prince of Pentacle. So somebody could be coming forward um, with an offer in love definitely here and this is also telling you if somebody comes to you with this message offer here starting in the springtime um and again it's something that's aligned with your life mission and what you would love to do is it's also coming and is coming in for you here with the prince of pentacles and you can accept this and this will enable you to move forward so if you have stress, worry, anxiety, that this is too good to be true, this isn't really happening with this Nine of Swords energy, Spirit saying, no, get out of that energy and move forward here with the Princess of Wands, that fiery, passionate energy. Wow, Leo. Okay, Leo, a lot of messages here. So I hope there res some resonated for you. Um, so good luck to you. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, to always, always shine your light.